Sirach 33 and 14. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those that are hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Yes, we are in a war. We're fighting this war spiritually. Those of us who are, you know, uh, seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, those of us of the hopeful elect. There's a major war going on. It's good against evil. All right. Righteous versus the wicked. And the Lord does everything in perfect balance. You're going to have hot and cold, up, down, left, right. All right. So, yes, you're going to have righteous versus the wicked. But guess what? The good news, the gospel is that righteous will always prevail over the wicked. And as I brought out in Sirach 33 and 14, good is set against evil and life against death. All right. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. OK, verse 15 says, so look upon all the works of the most high. See, really, the Lord is the one who does all these works. You know, he's going to have a balance of things. It says, so look upon all the works of the most high. And there are two and two, one against another. So what we're seeing here is a major war going on between good and evil. We know how this story ends. OK, those of us that are hopeful elect who the Lord imputed, you know, knowledge and wisdom and understanding to. OK, so as we continue to move forward, you know, we're we're cheering against America. We want to see this wicked place go down, man. We hate this place. OK, and um, I got a few precepts brewing in my head. I just trying to figure out where to start. But I, matter of fact, I will uh, I'll bring out Psalm, the 50th chapter. It says, but into the most high, it's like it's like into the wicked, the most high saith. All right. Who's the wicked? The Edomites. Uh, Malachi one and four. The so-called white people are the Edomites. OK, so the most high saith, what has thou do uh, thou to do to declare my statutes and that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, cast it of my words behind thee. Yeah. Why? Why are you? Why do you have the Bible in your hand? Why are you proclaiming that you are the Lord's people, bringing out the statutes and judgments, covenants, all right, uh, with your court of law, but you don't even go according to the Bible. You, you have the people swear on the Bible, which that's going off in itself, but then you bring out your penal codes and you don't judge matters according to the scriptures because we already know you're, you're designed and created to be the wicked. So why in the hell do you got the Bible in your hand? Okay. Pretending as if you're righteous. Verse 18 says, when thou sawest a thief, then thou contentest with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Verse 19, thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frame deceit. OK, and that, that's the mentality of this devil. They speak evil. OK, and they frame deceit and lies. One of the biggest lies that they've framed is uh, changing the image or, you know, portraying the image of our Lord and Savior uh, as a so-called white man, calling themselves white. You know, who else did that on the face of the earth? No one else other than the Edomites. All right, frame deceit and lies. Their whole kingdom was established off of deceit and lies. Verse 20 says, Thou sittest and speak as against thy brother, thou slanderest them, thine own mother's son. All right, the Israelites. Verse 21, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Yep, but that doesn't take away the fact that the Lord eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. You know, um, he got the angels keeping uh, track of all the things that his devil was doing. You know, the Lord knows about what he's done to, to his people. And um, of course, you know, the chickens are coming home to roost. You know, you devil's going to have to, you, you're going to have to take hold on uh, prophecy and it's going to be your turn to go into slavery with the rest of you heathen nations. All right. So the Lord kept silent, but that doesn't mean that he wouldn't keep an account of things that are going on. It says thou, this is the point. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. Okay. See, they thought that they were the winning team. 
they thought that they would prevail. Like everything was in Esau's favor, it seemed at one point in one point in time. You know, this devil was given the fatness of the earth. He was blessed with a sword. He was going around just taking land resources and destroying, killing people at will. And people thought this man was the savior. This man had the, you know, had the best technology, which he's still doing his thing, right? But we see that his end has come. The end of his rulership has come. It says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And the order is going to be what Esau is at the bottom. He is designed to be at the bottom. He's uh, the abased man. Okay. The worst of all the nations. All right. So, yeah, righteous will always prevail over the wicked, man. You know, you thought you was you was doing your thing. Yeah. You know, uh, you had your, your, your suits, neckties, you know, you shaved your beard and just thought that you was just you was the ish. Okay. But your time is up. All right, your time is up. Now, I want to bring out Wisdom of Solomon. Okay, uh, seven. I'm just going to hit the point. Wisdom of Solomon, seven. And uh, it says, I'll start at 28. For the most high loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. For she is more beautiful than the sun and above all the order of stars. Yeah, wisdom is a principal thing. The scriptures say, therefore, with all thy getting, get understanding. And hey, the most high loveth all those who have the true wisdom, which is the wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible. All right. It says, um, for she is more beautiful than the sun and above all the order of stars being compared with the light she is found before it. Verse 30. Here's the point. For after this come cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. OK, let's go into the word vice. Anyone who may not know what that word means, it says a immoral or wicked behavior. OK, scripture say wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wicked behavior has ran its course. It's hit its peak. And you can tell, um, you know, for a lot of us who were born in the 80s and as decades went by, you see more and more wickedness. You know, you look back, man, you know, uh, our women weren't. Uh, as out of order as they are now Okay, you, it wasn't no BBLs in the 90s, man Alright, nose jobs, plastic surgery You didn't have uh, two men out in the open public Holding hands and doing some wicked, foul bullshit Alright, two women with liquor licenses You know, declaring their wickedness before the public Okay And, and this is because the wicked is running the earth Ruling the earth And, and of course, it's going to run its course and, and be brought down at some point in time It had to be, right? But as it says Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 30 For after this cometh night But vice shall not prevail against wisdom Prevail goes into um, Victory Wickedness will not get the victory, victory Against wisdom and the wisdom Falls under the category of good And righteous So yes, good is set against evil But good will prevail over evil Every time All right now, the last scripture I want to bring out is um, Revelation 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name. All right. Those who are on the side of the righteous, those who are seeking righteousness, seeking meekness. Those who are uh, conducting themselves in all holy conversation, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, doing the work of the Lord, the prophets, you know, it says, and to the saints who are the Israelites, we're really starting with the, the elect, it says, and to and them that fear thy name, fear the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's a righteous thing. It says, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Okay, so. At the end of the day, man, the reward goes into, you know, the, the elect, you know, really all the nation of Israel, but it's going to start with the elect. Two thirds chose the wrong side. They chose the side of the wicked because they thought that they would uh, prevail and they thought that was the winning team. All right. So we're already speaking in past tense, man. We already know that this is prophecy that's going to come to pass. We already know the righteous is going to win. That's why we we're praying for the downfall of Babylon, the great AKA America. 
And we're praying that we endure. We are we endure on the righteous side, that right side, man. Because we know who wins in the end. So yeah, righteous will always prevail over the wicked. You devil's gonna pay. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.